know, what an asset manager is, is that bridge between the investment model, as I mentioned, and the property management, the operational side. The operational side is also your construction management side, right? They're the people that are executing your business plan, your financial plan. And so the asset manager, um, and I have four pillars and, and I'll share them in a second um, about what I think supports that asset management, that bridge. And, you know, I describe it as the visual again of the person walking, you know, juggling these balls of across that bridge back and forth between the property management and, or the operations, I should say, and the investment model. And that's your taking your pro forma, your, your budget, your plans, and then making sure that on that side that you have um, knowing where the money's coming from, you know, how expensive is your money? You know, what do we do to, to recirculate that money? When is that money coming? Um, making sure that the plan is going to be able to be supported. And, you know, Scott was mentioning, you know, on our, our asset, can we lift the rents? You know, can the market support that growth? Um, doing a solid market analysis, I assist, you know, in all of that. Um, and then juggling that ball of creating that financial plan to the operational plan, to the construction management plan. And it's consistently um, juggling those balls together because, you know, so often I would see people, you know, focusing, focusing on just one side of that, right? And if somebody's not communicating to the construction management side, then, you know, then the operational side isn't going to have the units ready or the capital you know, improvements to support the renovation, you know, and the lease up plan that they have, um, you know, to, uh, to implement on, on the properties or get the rent growth that needs, you know, and it's such, you know, it's so important in timing and execution and, and, um, you know, kind of just breezed over it for a second, but, you know, during, um, you know, obviously within the last couple of years, we saw where, whether it's inflation and interest rates and COVID, um, how we've had to pivot on what would be the, you know, best laid financial plan, right, and pro forma, then, you know, we personally took over a portfolio to manage the 1st of April, and um, at that time, it was several distressed assets already, but, you know, I had the best plans laid out, and then all of a sudden, COVID hit, and I couldn't evict anybody for a year, I couldn't get anything done, and you have to know where to pivot, you know, and you have to know, um, you know, supply started to change um, during that time, you know, um, both increasing in expenses. So that changed the pro forma. So I had to walk back across that bridge and make sure that that was, um, you know, done, make sure we had the money to support that. Holding back sometimes your investor uh, preps, you know, to make sure that we are keeping the asset healthy and strong so that it can support the operational growth long term.